Hello, in this ep episode, I will use the ang angle grinders again to do some mirroring jobs. And here, I already done the two holes here. And naturally, I need to do another two here. And I will repeat the process. And to this is one seat long aluminum pieces. And to drill the holes on this side, it is easier to do it on on regular drilling machine. Yeah, small drill. But for but for such long pieces. Items. I cannot do it on this small drill. And again, in the roller machines, it's also not possible. And I rendered the met the methods of using the angle grinder. And of course, I need to have a Two chunk here, and I will explain explain later. I set the workpiece on the wise, and here is the two millimeter milling cutter, and we mill two hole here and here, and it will go into depth in direction of the. This is the x axis. And fit in x axis in depth of cuts, and the movement is on on y and z plane, and the outcomes will be like this. Here, are two holes that are done it in before. Now I need to add the current here. Finish. And you can see here the hole is drilled. Here is the drill chart for the angle grinder. It's a special one. I bought it for about. 15, 12 to 15 US dollar of course you can't expect the concentricity is a very precise or the runout is very less so when you doing the milling jobs uh, you have to have compensations. For example, when I use the two millimeter milling cutters, I make the compensation 
by 0.1 mm so the builder hole will still be kept in uh, 2.5 to 2.6 millimeter my drawing is a 2.5 millimeter otherwise if you don't make some compensations the the, the hole will be larger still to the run right now and also here is the brackets for the uh, angle grinders I use it in before you can refer to my previous tutorial I I mount it in this direction so the whole grinder is in this direction for for putting off the long long steel plates in the operation I use is cutting saw circular saw here so this time I move it to this direction so you you can see it a little bit longer here but anyway it do the job and this bracket is for multi purposes and now I go back to the G cook Here you can see the Zico file. Obviously, there is G nineteen. G nineteen is a um, machining in Y Z pin. There's this pin Y Z pin is selected. And I use the cutter here. This is cutter for the for the tools of the angle tools, right angle tools. And in the cam software, I need to use the router. Router, router cams instead of the mirroring. It depends on what what kind of the cam software you use. I need to choose the router one, so I can choose the nineteen degrees uh, angle mirroring head, and in there I can choose the one is a pain etc to do the job and to do the two path etc and in the G code file you can see the depth of cuts is in X direction first is in this 1257 depth of cut and here is the interpolations and the next one is x is one five one seven one four. And after you after the G cook generate by your by your software cam, you you need to observe this type of files, and also do the dry run now, dry run before you actually mill the mill the park. And finally is. The depth of cuts go to x minus nine, and afterward you go back to g seventeen. This is to resume the normal x y pane. It's just just a brief explain explanation. You can refer to any other cam software to do this uh, 19 degree mirroring operations
and thank you for your watching.